Hey guys, happy Monday. Just a quick video. I really think that what happened is I trimmed this water sprite. You can see it's kind of bouncing back right here, but I trimmed it back very, very aggressively. And I didn't understand or appreciate the balance that it was giving to the water quality. Um, and one other thing I did too that probably didn't help is I noticed that this wisteria wasn't rooted. So, you know, I've got a really good cap on the soil and the black sand, and I, you know, penetrated through all that to uh, bury the roots on that. And whenever you do that, you know, you get the organic dirt to leach up some into your water. Uh, I have done water changes, I will do some more water changes. Another thing that I think is going to help, I know this may sound crazy for some of you, we'll see. Um, appreciate the candid feedback, uh, but I'm, I've actually tried to slow down this FX5 because it was moving so much water and it was churning up so much debris, um, and I'm hoping that that will give me a chance to get to it uh, with the siphon uh, when I do a water change. I'm probably going to do another water change uh, today. I did a about a 40% yesterday. I think everything's, you know, the plants are good. The fish look good. Uh, my water parameters are fine. And I'm just really trying to be aggressive and notice a few things. Um, and it is what it is. Uh, you know, this, this isn't booming like it was. Um, and the lace plant. You know, it's, it's kind of gone dormant a little bit. And some people ask about the... There's that red tail algae eater. It's just kind of sitting there. That had a lot of algae on it, and it's pretty much cleaned it all off. Um, I've got two more in the tank. I don't ever see them. And they're hard to find. So, a uh, matter of fact, there went one right down there. He was on the bottom. But um, anyway, that's just kind of an update on this tank. And the other thing I wanted to show you is here. I appreciate all the kind words on this tank. These fish are really coloring up. Uh, my bet is the male is the one with the red colored fins. And then the female is, is like that one. Just a guess. Um, but this is, you know, I'm, I'm afraid to trim or cut this baby tear just because it's turned into a large uh, hotel for uh, baby shrimp. I mean, they're just, that, that you just would not believe. It's like a large high-rise apartment uh, full of baby shrimp. They're just, and they're all over, but... Uh, but the, the crystal reds and the cherry reds, I think, coexist very, very well. Um, and I've got two flower buds, if you see those right there on the Barclays, which is good. Uh, and the Bacopa is doing much better now that I put a root tab in there. Uh, Christmas moss is looking fine. And the Glosso looks crazy. So, anyway. Busy, busy. Just trying to figure out what to do on the 120. I appreciate all the feedback. And uh, we'll see. We'll see. I, uh, I'm, not, I'm still trying to figure it out. But uh, it's ironic how, uh, you know, for a lot of people this would be perfect. The 120 would be perfect. But... Uh, for me, that right there, see that little foam? That's just a bad sign. And just to give you guys an idea of this film, you'll see it when I break it. Watch this. It's, it's on the, see the surface tension? So you can see it. Kind of see it now. And uh, anyway, want to see that go away. I think I'll figure it out eventually. And, uh, you know, these things... Algae blooms are common. 
uh, I think this is common. And, uh, you know, I know people are blaming it on uh, things that I do differently than they do, like organic dirt or, you know, having so many fish in the tank, whatever. Um, I know people that have more fish in the tank this size uh, and much larger discus. And, uh, matter of fact, I'll put a link on, uh, on my description of this video just to give you an example. It has everything to do with your filtration and filter. Uh, it's not the number of fish. It's, it's the system behind uh, the quality of your water. So, you know, if you're willing to do the work for the maintenance, if you've got the right filtration and you're willing to do um, water changes, you know, knock yourself out. I mean, there are people... There are fish farms um, in some areas of the world that have zero filters. But what they do is they do daily 50% water changes and they have an amazing uh, you know, local river system where they just pull it out of there. Um, anyway, for what it's worth. But uh, sorry, uh, I know some people are offended by how many fish I have or you know, organic dirt or whatever. And, uh, you know... It is what it is. I uh, appreciate the candid feedback, though. appreciate everybody's uh, good insight. And, you know, um, I've had this tank for about uh, 15, 16 months, and it's done great. The plants are doing well. I've got good growth. I uh, just need to focus on this one issue. I always I got beard allergy this exact same time last year. And I think it has something to do with the water coming in off tap at 84 degrees, but I, I can't, I, I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But I will bet you that come the fall when it gets cold outside and I have to use my hot water heater to bounce up the temperature, I'll see the false purling, and then I will also get crystal clear water, and, and these issues will go away, and I'll get... Uh, plant growth will boom as well. I have no idea. No clue what's going on there, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, that's the pattern. You know, you just have to try to figure out the pattern. Oh, one other thing. Do you see the size? I don't understand why I've got discus. Maybe they're just runts, but I've got like two, two, three discus that are huge, and I've got one here that's two that are really kind of small. Give you an idea. And they're all, they, they, the small ones are eating very well, and it just doesn't make a lot of sense. But uh, anyway, you guys take care. Thanks for watching, and uh, let me know what you think. See you.